So, Philip, tough game, tough outcome today. What do you think was uh, the struggle today and um, how do you think we can bounce back in the, in the next game? Yeah, really, really, really disappointing day today because we, like I'd say, it was the worst game <laughs> in the whole season we played. Um, yeah, I mean, respect to Rostock, they just did it way better. They had a game plan, they stick to it. I think we just totally broke apart, never came into rhythm and uh, I mean, it's tough where it's a team sport. We got to figure it out together and can figure it out individually. And so we got we got a lot of shit to work on. And um, yeah, I mean, it's week after week, game after game. So next one coming up next Saturday. Yeah. And next Saturday, we're looking forward to, to see you guys on the court. What do you guys think that you can change maybe over the coming week ahead of the next one? I mean, we're getting a lot of guys back together now, some injuries, some new players. So. We just we just gotta gotta stick together and grow and uh, it's there's no no other solution than just practice and do stuff better and we know at Isalon it's a tough game it's always packed they play with a lot of intensity we gotta match that and um, we gotta get, gotta get that away game uh, that, that win in, in Isalon yeah and it was nice to see a familiar face back on the court again Martin. How, did, how do you think he felt after the first game and uh, getting back into the rhythm? Ah, it's beautiful. That's, uh, I think, one of the, the only good, good, good things today was uh, Martin being back on the court. That's great. He's helping us a lot with everything. Mm -hmm. Experience, being somebody dominant down there, athletic. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy he's back. And uh, yeah, I've been out a long time, but yeah, we're really happy. Cool. Tough game, tough outcome. Yes, what do you think was the biggest struggle today? I mean, we didn't really hit our shots, to be honest. Um, especially in the first quarter, we really had like a slow start. I think defensively it was perfectly fine. Uh, I mean, they only scored like 72 points, hit a lot of sh threes as well. So defensively wasn't really the problem, but we never really got like the ball rolling on offense, to be honest. Yeah. And it took a little bit of time to get going. Uh, what do you think was the, the reason there? We had a full squad and everything, but what do you think? I think we moved the ball really well. Uh, we shared it more than we usually did, but it was just like this fine detail missing in the end. That one extra pass for the more open shot were um, just more quicker decisions. I, I had the feeling often we were moving the ball, but then it always stuck too long at one, in, at one player. It mm. should have been like a bit more swing, swing, open shot, boom. Um, yeah, zero, like Chacha said, 0 0.5 second yeah. decisions, not like three seconds, you know, so yeah. <laughs> How do you think we bounce back in the next game? I think we need to come together as a team. Um, it was also the first time that we were like playing as a f complete squad. And obviously that also changes a bit the dynamics. Some minutes go up, some minutes go down. And you first need to find like a flow again, um, offensively and also defensively. But I think if like when we click on all cylinders, I mean, we're individually, we're way too good, you know? So, if we find like the right chemistry between all these individual great players, I think we still have a really good chance on securing a playoff spot and also going far. Brandon, nice to meet you. Uh, you balled out today, man. What, 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 how did it feel? Uh, it felt great. You know, it always feels good to come in and get a row in. That's our first row in the season, so okay. just coming in, just winning at the, uh, the uh, altitude that we did by 18 points, you know, love to see it. So happy for our young guys. We came in, we just told ourselves, you know, we can be any team in our league when we play the way we want to play. So we came in and did, that, did just that tonight. And how are you guys feeling about your season? I think you guys have been on a run now. You're starting to make some uh, noise in the league. Yeah. How's it feeling so far? Man, it feels great. We had uh, we had a couple goals, and uh, right now we, uh, we're on our way to all, all of them right now. So just seeing and seeing all the hard work that we put in coming in and just seeing that it's uh, building up, it's just we love to see it, especially for our young guys. We're a young team. We got a lot of young guys, a lot of 16, 17, 18-year-olds, but 19-year-olds, but yeah, a lot of teenagers, yeah. But we, uh, we just we staying, staying humble every day, getting it in and practice every day. So just keep on working, and we know we know we'll get there. And is this is this your first year playing in Germany, or you? First year, yeah. Okay, year, cool. First year in Europe. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And where did you play before? Uh, I played at a D2 school in Ohio. It's called Cedarville, and I transferred from my Kobe year and went to Moorhead State D1. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, no, yes, sir. No. And how do you like playing in Germany? Oh, I love it, man. Cool. Love it. It's, it's different. It's not America, but you know, it's, it's an experience. <laughs> know, and that's why I came over here. I love, I love, to tra I love travel, basketball, and money, and I'm doing all of them. So. <laughs> hey, I get all of them, so you know, I love it. I love it for sure. All right, yes, all right. sir. Hey, we wish you all the best of luck in the rest of the season, and yeah, good luck going good day, forward. Boy. Take good care, boy. brother. Super.